Okay, how to add auto flip. So the first thing you need to do is go to our mixer. It's the mixer. And we need to add a we'll add a flip. L I P and then we set the source to max the weight to a hundred and the switch down here. We'll do the switch as the momentary at the back and we just press it to select it. Hang on, I've just got to press and hold this. You can see here, hopefully, I'll move off it. That I pressed and held it to make SF down there. Okay. And then jump back out and that'll just get us a crash flip on SF down but then we're going to add a second one what this is going to be is there's going to be a slight delay before the arming so we I'm just going to call it like something like auto a oh, T O up there. Oh, okay, that'll do. We know what we're doing. The source of it is also the switch. Or is the switch? Now it's weight. We're going. What we're going to do is we're going to set negative fifty here. So basically, what we're going to do is slightly after pressing the momentary, we're going to have the value moved down by 50. So we put the switch here to be switch down minus again. So I've got to press and hold it in while, and then press enter. So press and hold, and we press enter. And then confirm that you've got it as switch down. Um, and that's it. We'll add a little delay. So maybe we'll add a delay just for demonstration. I'll add a delay of one second, but in reality, we'll make it like 0.1 of a second. Okay. So we've got those two now. Hopefully we can see that. Now, if I just move forward a page and we'll see if it's working in the outputs and then I'll go into beta flight. Okay, I made a slight mistake here. I put it on channel six. I pressed the wrong button when entering. We actually want to put it on channel five also. So I'm just going to move it by pressing this. And I'm going to move it up to channel five. Both of these commands are on channel five. So now if we see there, we've got it on channel five and channel five. They're both on channel five. So if we look at the output screen or screen seven, Bit hard to see because it's right at the very top. But if I press the momentary, you can see it goes to 2000 and then a second later drops to 1700. It'll be easier to see that in beta flight. So if we look at the beta flight screen now, if I look at um, the auxiliary, if I press the momentary and hold it, we can see it jumps to 2000 and then back to 1700. Okay, so in beta flight, we go to the modes tab. So first of all, um, we'll add our just normal arm mode, which is AUX2 for me. Motors. And we'll drag this slider up here. Save that. We can check it. There we go. And now we're going to add our 
delayed crash flip. So if we come down here, we can find flip over after crash. And if I just hide the other mode so we can make it easier to see, flip over after crash is going to be for me on OGS1. If I press the momentary, it selects OGS1. OGS1. Now, if we have a look at the little marker, if I press and hold it, I press it, it jumps up and then it comes back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the flip over after crash slider up to here and we'll let's pan back and watch what happens. If I press the momentary, it selects flip over after crash and as we can see this, it drops down, it goes to here and then drops to here after a second. So the trick is to then come in here and add a second range to the arm. So what I'm gonna do, I'll move in. So we're gonna have arm and we're gonna pick up the same channel as the flip over after crash, which is OGS1. And I'm going to move a second slider for arming just into this range here, which will pick up the flip over after crash. So if I move back and I'll press the momentary now, we can see that it's now selected flip over crash and arm with about a one second delay. So if I come in here and show you, we watch the marker come on the bottom line to 2000 and then it drops back to 1700. And by dropping back to 1700, we get the arm as well. So now that we can confirm it all works, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and change that delay now. If I edit my thing, you can see the delay at the bottom of the screen here was one second. If I change that now back to say a snappy 0.2 of a second down here, and then we'll go back to the screen and we'll see what happens. Now, if I press the momentary, we see it go up and straight back, up and straight back.